Okay, we're back. Now I say we're back because there's a video part one of this talking about what this is. This is video part two, dos, on um, how to set this up. And I, I bring this up because it's a little, it's easy, but it's not. There's some things you need to know or else you're gonna get lost and you're gonna get confused and you're gonna get frustrated. Um, so I figured I would make this video, hopefully a quick video, to show you the steps to, you need to do to make this a smooth process. Now, this is the Togo unit. This is powered by WineGuard. It's the same unit as the WineGuard V2, but it also has a GPS tracker in it. This is made especially for one purpose. That is for you to get an AT&T data plan for $30 a month, unlimited access. Hash, asterisk, like I said before, 22 gigs, they can slow you down if the towers are congested. I personally have never seen myself slowing down and I use over 100 gigs a month. With that said, so to set this up, of course, this would go up on your roof and the best thing about it is they give you everything you need to install, okay? Uh, just like on the V2 unit, they give you the roof the, the roof cover for to, to die core around when you put the holes in the roof. And they give you the, all the cords that you need uh, on off power switch. And you just have to tie it into 12 volts. So it just needs 12 volts. That's all this unit requires is 12 volts. Um, so I'm going to power it up right over here. I have actually a 12 volt power supply. So I just powered it up now uh, so the unit will boot and I'll be able to do the install. So one of the things you're going to need is your cell phone. Okay. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start recording my cell phone screen. So my cell phone screen is recording now. Okay. Welcome to my cell phone screen. One of the first things you're going to want to do is get yourself the WineGuard connected app. So that right there in the center of Brenda's face is you'll see a WineGuard logo and it says connected. That's the application you're going to need. That application is needed to set the device up and talk to it and make changes to it as you use the product if you move from RV park to RV park. But it's mostly used to get the product set up and running. Because once it's set up and running, if you stay on AT&T all the time and not switch to an RV park, because remember, this is also a Wi-Fi repeater, then uh, you really don't have to go into it much at all. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the connected app. And the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you turn off, turn off your Wi-Fi. Okay. So I just turned off my Wi-Fi. The reason you want to do that is because you want to force your phone. You want to force your phone to use the, uh, LTE data, the 4G data that's on your phone, because you can't, you, you need to be connected to the internet for this to be able to be activated. Okay. So turn off your phone's Wi-Fi so that you're using your phone's data plan. It doesn't use much data at all. Don't worry. Just, just do that. It'll make things much easier. Trust me. So now what you're going to do is you're going to just go ahead and accept the, 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 accept the agreement. And then the next thing you have here is tells you there's no devices currently connected, which is true um, because we have not looked for the unit or anything at this point. Um, and we have to get the information because every one of these is unique with an ID number and um, a, a login name and a password. They're all unique to each other. So you can't use one with the other. So every one of them comes with this QR code that's in the packet. And the QR code is what you read with the app in order to get the information you need. In order to get the information, it has to go out to the internet and back down. Now you know why you need to have 4G data. So here we go. We're going to push scan to scan. Tell it, yes, it's okay to use your camera. You must be signed in order to use this feature. Okay. Now be aware. This is the other thing. So now this is another reason you need internet access. Now what you're going to do here is you're going to you're going to type sign in with Togo. Okay. And a Togo account is needed. However, it's very simple. You do it right here on the phone. However, what they don't tell you is right after you send it, it will send you an email to the address you put in and that email you have to click on verify to verify the email address. Then you can continue with the app. Now, for some reason, uh, and they'll probably fix this, the app, when I first did this for testing, it didn't tell me I had to do that. So, you know, I, I put everything in and then, and then I said, okay, good to go. And I couldn't log in because it, it kept looping around because I didn't know I had to go to my computer and, or my phone or whatever, and get the email from Togo and verify it. So in any case, heads up on that. 
I've already done that on mine. I've already put in my information and I've already verified my account. So I'm just going to go ahead and sign in with Togo. And then I'm going to, I'm going to go hit agree at the bottom. And I'm going to put in the email address that I used, which is, would be your email address that you used. And I'm going to put in my password that I used at the time. And that will sign me in. Now what it's going to do is it's going to say, Hey, WineGuard, the, the, the controller part of the app here wants to share, share the information you have with Togo. Is that okay? And of course it's okay. Be aware if you say no to any of these checkboxes, um, you basically, it won't continue. So you have to hit allow. Now it's signing you into your account and you can see it just signed in. Now it's, it tells you you've signed in fully, which is great. This is where the QR code comes in now. It activates the camera's QR code reader where you're, you're, you're basically your, your, your camera. Hi. Um, so all you're going to do now is take this QR code and scan it. Oh, uh, you saw that it accepted it. And now I'm going to select who you bought it from. You can see that these are the retailers you're going to find it from. Uh, so if you bought it from one of these retailers, you're good to go. I, I got it directly from WineGuard. Next. And then what you're going to want to make sure you select RV type. Um, unless you own one of these RV types, you, you don't. Just You're going to, you're going to want to use Tango because this is a Tango unit. Uh, excuse me. I keep saying Tango. Togo. Togo. As in the dog Togo. Togo. Uh, don't know where Tango came from. No, that's not it. Okay. Uh, go ahead and do Togo. Boop. And hit next. Okay. So now it's got the information. Now this is important. Write this down. Okay. What, what's on your screen right now? Go over to a notepad. Get out a piece of paper and a pen and write down that password. As you can see, I already did. I wrote down the password. The reason is because you need to now, this is the point now where you turn your Wi-Fi on your phone. Okay. It's got everything it needs from the internet at this point. So now you need to be able to talk to this unit and to talk to this unit, it requires Wi-Fi. So before you can go any further, it's telling you, you have to connect to that network. That's why I told you to write down the password because you're going to need that password to connect. So I'm going to now swipe down on my phone. I'm going to turn my Wi-Fi back on. Okay. And I'm going to wait and I'm going to look for this network. There it is, WineGuard. You can see it right there, two gigahertz. I'm gonna select that network. And it's gonna ask me for a password. Unless I already put it in before. I think it, it might've remembered it. Okay, it did remember it. And uh, because I already done it before, but at this point you'd put in your password, which you had just written down. So as you can see, I'm now connected. It, and now on an Android phone, it might come up and say, Hey, there's no internet. Is this okay? You want to say, yes, stay connected because Androids, and I'm not sure how the iOS works on Apple, the Android phone will automatically, um, drop it and go back to LTE or go back to another known network that it might see. So you want to make sure you, it's, you tell it to stay connected. As you can see, mine is staying connected on the WineGuard network, which is what we need. So now I can go back to the app and continue where I left off. It's now going to talk to the unit directly. And there it is. Boom. I've now connected and talked to the unit. So I'm going to say not now. Close. Now you can see there it is the Road Trek C2, which is the Togo unit. I'm going to go into there and you can see it's not connected to internet. That's of course, because there's no 4G data through AT&T, nor have I connected it to any park Wi-Fi at this point. So in order to get this to have internet access, right now I'm in an RV park and I can connect to their RV park. Or if you have a jetpack, turn on your jetpack and um, let this connect to your jetpack so you can get data to this unit. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select, um, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to select scan for Wi-Fi. There's a button right there, scan for Wi-Fi. It's going to look through the air and say, Hey, hello, what's out there. And it's looking for anybody handing out any uh, information. And then you're going to find the one here. We're at Southwoods RV resort. So I'm going to select Southwoods on here. Um, Southwoods Wi-Fi uh, or Southwoods management. I'm going to select Southwoods management. And I'm going to enter in the password for that. And um, 
accept. So now what's going to happen is this. Be aware of this. Very important. Again, be aware of this. This has to reboot. And because it reboots, that means it's going to drop your connection on your phone because it's gone away. You need to make sure, and it tells you this, you need to make sure that your phone reconnects to this device, this SSID, when it's done rebooting. So I'm going to just drop down my, my, my uh, thing here. I'm going to go back in. I'm going to go back into my, my um, you can see it connected to my, my local network there. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that either. Ah! Um, you can see that it, there, it had connected back to my local network there. And now you can see the wine guard is back. Okay, so now I'm going to go select the wine guard. It's connecting. And now you notice it doesn't say no internet. That's because we connected it to the park Wi-Fi. Now, if the park has a captive portal that you have to go through, you will still have the no internet access because you have to go through the captive portal page, which means open up a web browser, try to go somewhere that's not HTTPS, try to go somewhere um, and, and hopefully it will um, bring up the captive portal page where you can log in using the stuff they gave you. That's different from connecting to the SSID, to the access point, that's different. A captive portal is a whole nother process. Um, but in any case, we don't have a captive portal here. So as you can see, we're connected to the WineGuard. I'm gonna go back to the app. It's going to now refresh the page for me. Still says no, not connected, but give it a second. It will, it will automatically refresh the connection. There it goes. Yay, working. And you can see now it says internet source Wi-Fi connected to Southwoods management. Great. If I took use the, the menu at the top, the three bar menu at the top, I can then run an internet speed test, which I'm doing now. And it's only going to do a download test only. It's not going to do an upload test, just so you're aware. And it's going to do a quick test, not using much data. It's going to do a very fast test. And here I got 14 megabits per second, 14.61, which is perfect. Why is it perfect? Because I run the park, I run the network in this park, and I know I've limited people to 15 megabits down. Now, so you can see, I'm right there at the threshold of, of the 15 megabits, which is awesome. Also, what you need to be aware of is this unit that I'm currently using is normally up on the roof. Now, why is this important? It's because then it doesn't have to go through all of this inside the motor coach to get to the access point. Now, why I'm telling you this is, is because the, the unit itself is pretty impressive. The unit itself, my closest access point right now is 400 feet away. Yeah, 400 feet, that's a good distance. And I'm inside the motor coach with this thing. If it was up on the roof, I'd actually would have a better signal being outside and maybe even have direct line of sight to the access point, which would actually be better. But 400 feet, that's a good distance. That's a really good distance. So in any case, at this point, uh, you can see that everything is running properly. Now at this point, if you're gonna stay connected to the park's Wi-Fi, all your devices, your computer, your tablets, your Roco, your root, Roku, Roku units, uh, Amazon Fire TVs, whatever, you would connect those all to your local network. Okay, right now the local network is this WineGuard 2 gigahertz D338E3. Yeah, that kind of sucks, right? Because it's the, it's the, it's the unit and it kind of sucks to remember that that's your network. So you can change that. Now this is going to be another very important thing. So to change that, you're, you're going you're gonna to go into settings. And right in the settings right here, you're going to see 2 gigahertz network and 2 gigahertz guest network. The important thing about this screen that I want to make you aware of is this. When you click on the little pencil to edit the network, which means you can change the network name to be something you want it to be. You can make it your own last name. You can make it the name of your RV. You can do whatever you want. You can make this however you want. So in this particular case, I'm just going to make it WineGuard test. So I'm just typing in that. And that's what I'm going to call this network. Okay. Now, this is the important part. Enter the password. So this is where you're assigning a password that you want to use for your network. So I'm creating the network WineGuard test and I'm going to make a password that's my own. And this is important because if you screw this up, you don't know it because you can't see what you typed. So if you fat finger it and hit a letter that you didn't mean to hit when you're putting in your password, when you save it, it's going to save it. And guess what? You will not have access back to this unit. You will not be able to get into it at all. The only way you can get into it is one of two ways. The reset button 
on the side, uh, which means you have to go up on your roof and pull off the little, the little side panel, two screws, and do the reset on the unit to get it back to factory defaults. Or you have to take off the cover and plug in a computer directly with a hardwire ethernet cable to, actually, I take that back. That won't even work. I take, I scratch that, scratch that. You can't, you can't do the ethernet part because uh, you can't get into the admin interface. I forgot about that. Um, they don't allow that. But in any case, can't stress enough, make sure you get this right. So I'm just gonna put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I do not condone that as your password. I'm just doing this as a test, obviously, to show you how to set it up. But you notice I couldn't see what I put in. So if I screwed that up, I wouldn't know it. So I'm just gonna watch it when I do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The security type is your next one. They should just default this, in my opinion, to WPA2 SPK, okay? So you're gonna wanna select that, WPA2 uh, PSK, okay? Select that as the encryption type, okay? Don't select none, because that, that means it's an open network and it's not encrypted or anything like that. Hit accept. Now when you do that, you're gonna continue, and what's gonna happen is this is gonna reboot again. Now, what's, it's gonna disappear the SSID that you originally had, the wine guard and the number, um, that's gonna disappear. And your phone's gonna go back to either some other network or the last network you use. As you can see, it went back to mine. You just saw that the wine guard SSID dis disappeared. And now I'm waiting to see the wine guard test SSID that I created, which is my private network, okay? So I'm waiting for it, and we're just gonna wait and wait and wait for it to show up. Mm, 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 mm. Come on, come on, show up, give it to me, showy. Come on, bring it on home, make it work, please make it work. And we're just waiting and we're, oh, there it is, wine guard test. It was either there and I didn't notice it or I'm just kind of getting, enjoying myself in my head. Uh, David Land, it's a great place, come in and join me. Any case, wine guard test. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, connect. And now I'm connected again, as you can see. Wine guard test is now my network. So now I've just created my own private network in my motor coach using the wine guard, powered by wine guard using the Togo unit. Okay, so that's really cool. Because now all your devices, again, you're gonna you're gonna want all your devices on your private network. That way they can talk to each other. Your Wi-Fi printer, if you have a um, a Google um, uh, uh, Chromecast, you can use that now and connect that to your network, and everything will pass through that, which is really cool. So now I'm just gonna go back to the app again and back up a screen. It's gonna reload. And you can see now at the top, it says Road, Road Link C2 WineGuard Test. That's the name of the network, okay? So now you need to just know that's your network, know your password, and you're good to go. So at this point, you can create yourself an account to use your $30 a month plan, okay? And to do that, um, you would hit uh, you would you would hit buy data. The only one you can choose for this, there's only two, you can choose to use, um, uh, you could choose unlimited $360 for the year, um, which is $30 a month, which is what most of you will want. And, or you can do $25, I believe it is, for five gigs of data, good for a month, which I don't know why you would want. But then again, um, that's how you would go through this stuff and set this stuff up, okay? It just, does that make sense? I hope this is making sense. Um, so this is, basically how you set your device up. Now, um, I'm just trying to get back to the to, to my screen here uh, real quick. Okay, there we go. So right now I'm running on the park Wi-Fi until I set up the information for my account for, for AT&T. I can't switch over to AT&T because uh, there will be no data. But when you do finish setting up your account and you're good to go, what you would do here is select internet source, okay? And your internet source is no internet, which means you want to cut everything off and just use your local network privately for some reason. Wi-Fi, which is what we're using now, we're using it as a Wi-Fi extender. And 4G, which would mean I want to use 4G AT&T data, which you would have bought. If I select that now, again, it will reboot the unit. 
you have to make sure you go reconnect to it again um, to make sure you're connected to it so you can talk to it and then you would see that you had 4G data and you would see your signal strength and what have you. Does that make sense? Okay, I hope it makes sense. But in any case, there you go. I mean, this is, this is, uh, this is the, the Togo unit powered by WineGuard, which is based on the WineGuard V2, which is a unit I already recommended for the do-it-yourselfer who wants something easy to use in their motor coach. Hope this all makes sense. And I'm doing the video on this because when I first did it, it, you know, I I knew what had to happen, but I ran into some issues with it. And and it would like it would jump back to the other network and stuff like that because there was no internet. Um, so I don't want anybody to get confused, especially me. I mean, I I I know this stuff, you know, pretty well, as you know. Uh, and I kind of got lost, even though I know what was going on. I still. You know, I still got was like getting a little bit frustrated with it. So I wanted to do this secondary video on how to set this up. And WineGuard may correct me on a lot of this. I don't know. But as you can see, it all just worked. And I got it all set up perfectly. Even went through and changed it to be my own SSID, my own private SSID. And by the way, the guest network, if you really, really wanted to, you can go into settings there and you can change the guest Wi-Fi to make it your own guest Wi-Fi with an own separate password. And be aware though, when you do save that, it will reboot the radio again because it has to it has to set it all up. So if you're not gonna use the guest network, don't worry about it. If, if you wanna use the guest network and make it, you know, your network name hyphen guest, feel free to do so. Um, other than that, that's it. I'm out of here. I'm, uh, everything else is looking good. This is running perfectly. I can install it on the roof um, and go with it. And, and that's about that. If you hit Togo, by the way, Togo is a separate app altogether. You can see it wants you to install it. Togo is a RV companion app. Um, I really didn't know about it until this came out. And, uh, and they're owned by Thor. Um, they were bought out by Thor. And in um, any case, the Togo app is, is an RV companion app that allows you to do things like, you know, your checklist, your pre, your pre leaving checklist and, and recording information about your motor coach and stuff like that. It's a, it's a companion app. So just like your dog may be your favorite companion, Togo is going to be your favorite traveling companion. Okay. See how all that works. I'm going to to go now <laughs> with Togo and that's it. I'm Dave Bob from Outsider Bubble. And if you like what we do, please click subscribe. Take care. Keep safe. We'll see you on the road. Arf, arf. Bye. Here, Togo. Here, Togo. Go fetch data.